Is this true? Does adenomyosis keep progressing and does being on the pill do anything? Well, despite a condition that a German pathologist, Karl von Rokitansky, first described adenomyosis in 1860, well, we still know so little about what adenomyosis is. Well, essentially, it's with adenomyosis that the tissues grow into the muscular wall of the uterus. Additionally, adenomyosis is a progressive disease. This means that without proper management, it does get worse over time. It's an inflammatory condition and causes inflammation in and around the womb and pelvic structures. Now, while some textbooks say that adenomyosis isn't life-threatening, I disagree with that. It really impinders your health and your ability to do things. Adenomyosis can lead to more serious problems if left untreated, such as pressure on other organs in the tummy, and there is some evidence that it's linked to pelvic prolapse as well. The youngest I have picked up with adenomyosis in my clinic has been 17 years old. So clinically, I would disagree that it's not a condition that only happens to older women in their 30s or 40s. It's a condition that I've started seeing to as akin to endometriosis. For those interested in adenomyosis, I highly recommend reading this paper. It was published in July 2023, where they did an update review of the diagnosis and classification of adenomyosis. What this paper shows is that the pill, that is any hormonal contraceptive pill that we give a woman, what it does is it helps with the symptom control of adenomyosis, but it's not a cure. Well, this paper also showed that there are four stages of adenomyosis. So you can get stage one, which is early adenomyosis, and it's characterized by mild symptoms such as heavier than usual periods and occasional cramps. Then there's stage two, which is moderate symptoms, which can create greater amounts of blood flow during your period, and it can increase cramps and feeling of fullness in the tummy. And at this stage, you may experience pain during intercourse and urination. Then there is stage three. This is known as advanced adenomyosis, and it can cause severe cramping, heavy bleeding, and other pelvic structures can become affected as well. So you can get bloating, fatigue, you can also get gut related symptoms. And this stage is often accompanied by the inability to conceive. So we know that some people's fertility can be affected due to the inflammation of the uterine wall. Then there is stage four. Now, in the stage four, this is the most severe form of adenomyosis, and it can lead to an enlarged uterus, and this can cause fertility problems, can cause menstrual flow problems, and overall health issues like fatigue, aches and pains, etc. Now, in some cases, surgical removal of part of the uterus may be necessary for relief of those symptoms. However, that all depends on where you are on your fertility journey and also life journey as well. So knowing the stages of adenomyosis is really important because we can now know that there are different stages of adenomyosis and can stop the disease from progressing and getting worse. And also it's vitally important that we find management options for adenomyosis. And just to round off this video, I really wanted to quickly highlight John Hopkins medical paper about what they shared when it comes to a hysterectomy, as that is currently the only cure for adenomyosis. And what they said is since adenomyosis causes diffuse finger-like progressions of tissue to invade with the uterine wall, we can't go in and remove abnormal tissue like we can do with fibroids. So actually, I do think that it does continue to progress into the uterine wall because you get this finger-like projections of tissue that invade the uterine wall. That is really significant but in our understanding of what adenomyosis is. Please do share this with someone who might find it helpful.